Hello everyone and welcome back to the Brew Here View. As you might have noticed, I'm not in my bedroom this time, I'm in my kitchen because I'm making a very special video indeed. I'm going to be trying fish fingers and custard for the first time, which I'm really excited to do. I've always wanted to try this actually, it was something that I've wanted to try for a long time. I did think about doing it for a birthday one year, but then I thought about making a channel, I thought this would be a great way to celebrate getting to a certain amount of subscribers and I thought, well I'm getting up to 100, why not try it? And luckily I had, so thank you to everyone who subscribed, it honestly means a lot and I can't believe I'm actually making this video because it was always just an aim, a dream to get to 100 subscribers and the fact that I'm on 106 at the moment is absolutely crazy, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm going to be trying this, I haven't actually had fish fingers for a long time, probably about 10 years, it's just something I've never really had after I was like a child, but they are quite nice, I won't lie. So I'm looking forward to trying them again and obviously they're high in omega 3 which is really cool if you get the reference there. So yeah, it's really cool. So I'm going to be trying that for the first time. I'm really excited, so let's begin the video. Great, so I popped into my local supermarket to get the fish fingers and the custard. Now I'm not sure at the time if the 11th Doctor actually warmed up the custard or actually cooked the fish fingers. I'm hoping so, because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm definitely not trying it the other way, but that's something that I don't actually know if they've done. So that's really, that's really unusual as well. I've seen a lot of people like make these videos as well, trying the fish fingers and custard, and the the feedback from it is actually yeah, that hasn't been too bad. Apparently, like the custard overwhelms the fish, so you can't really taste both. So that's going to be interesting to try. Some people do really enjoy it though, so I'm really looking forward to giving that a try. So yeah, so let's let's begin the cooking. Great. So we'll start with the fish fingers. I've got the hands washed ready for them. Now this packet says you've got to preheat oven to fan 200 degrees. So I better get that started. In the meantime, I will open up the fish fingers, which is really cool. Let's have a little look. Very nice. They look very similar to the ones in the 11th hour, although I didn't expect them to look much different, but never mind. So I think I'll do three today just to try it, because just in case it's not so good, but I have heard it has been quite nice, so that's not bad. So we've got three there, perfect. There we are, like that, there we go. There you go. So that's ready, and now I'll be getting them in the oven. Great, so now we've got to preheat the oven, so it's two fan assisted, two setting, 15 to 20 minutes. 200 degrees so while we wait for that we'll start the custard so in the meantime while we get the fish fingers ready i have the custard here ready so let's pour some nice in there we go don't know how much to do i do a fair amount not too much i do like custard but sometimes it can be a bit sickly i think that will do can't really see that in the, in the light can you i can't see any of that actually oh wow it's like ghost custard yeah, well, it is in there anyway. I've nearly poured it all over myself, actually. So let's get them in the microwave and begin that as well. Okay, so while we're pre in the oven, we'll heat up the custard. I think about, I don't know, 30 seconds to one minute. So we'll put it on about 25 seconds. So we'll let that heat up while we wait for the fish fingers. Great, so the oven's preheated now, so we'll just pop in the fish fingers and custard. Be careful because it's very hot. Brilliant, now we'll pop those straight in. There we go. Great, so the custard's done now, so we'll get it out ready for the video. Smells nice, and it's just the right temperature, so that's really cool. Great, so they've been in there about half the time now, so I'm going to get them out and turn them over. So obviously if you're doing this at home, be careful with the heat. Step back, there we are, they're looking nice, and they're smelling nice too actually. There we go, so I'll just be turning them over now, just grab a fork. It's not very nice. I forgot what it's like to have fish fingers and custard. Or fish fingers at least. I keep calling it fish fingers and custard. I'm so used to it now. Perfect, there we go. Excellent, so they're turned up. So I'll just be getting them back in the oven now. Great, I might swap it over just to make sure I've got it properly. There we are, shouldn't need much longer now. Not long to go now. Great, so the oven's just pink, so I'm going to get them out. So I'm going to turn off the controls and get it out. Mind in the heat because it's hot. Mm, they smell very nice, actually. Perfect, there they are. Very nice indeed. Great, and now we'll just wait for them to cool down. Great, so the, the fish fingers have cooled down now, so I'm going to christen them and put them in the custard, which is a very weird feeling. Oh my gosh. Very strange. Ooh, don't want it to break either. Perfect, 
it, and there we have it. Now the only thing left to do is eat them. Great, and here we have the end result. It smells like fish fingers. I can't really smell the custard. Um, yeah, so I'm about to try this for the first time ever, which is so exciting. I actually want to try just the fish finger on its own because I haven't had fish fingers, like I said, for about 10 years. So I'm going to try that first. Break a bit off. I mean, this is quite obvious, but they do taste very fishy. So, um, yeah. So, they're nice. I forgot how fishy they were. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting to have it with the custard now. So let's give it a go. Oh my gosh. Right. Pick one out. I did three because I didn't know how many I should have done. Oh my gosh. We're ready for it, yeah? Okay. I can definitely see why people say the custard overwhelms the fish finger. I cannot taste the fish finger at all when I eat it. I could try again. Mm. It's not bad though. It's actually quite nice. It's an interesting combination because literally you cannot taste any of the fish finger. Once you dip it in the custard, you can't taste it at all. It's certainly interesting. A funny combination, but yeah, certainly interesting indeed. It's, do you know what? It is actually tasty though. I won't lie. It's actually quite nice. Mmm. Yeah. No, I, I quite like this actually. It's really cool. Mmm. It's actually really nice. Sometimes when you haven't got too much custard on the fish finger, the fish starts to kick in, then it's not so nice. But when you could just taste the cuss and you bite into the fish finger, that's when it's probably best. For me anyway, at least. This one's breaking all over the place. I'm making such a mess. Mmm, yeah. When you can just taste the cuss, it's probably when it's best. Mmm. That is very nice there. Wow. So yeah, that's the first time I've ever tried fish fingers and custard. Um, from what I've watched, it is sort of what I expected, but then in a way it's not. I thought you would be able to at least taste some of the fish. Like I said, you can only taste the fish if you haven't put custard on it, obviously. But um, yeah, it's quite an interesting combination. Would I try it again? Probably. I mean, it is a bit of an odd one. I mean, but like I said, because you can only taste the custard, there's not much point getting the fish finger and doing the custard again, sort of thing. You may as well just eat a bowl of custard sort of thing and, I don't know, dip the custard in something. But it is actually quite nice, so I would definitely try it again. I know the Doctor Who cookbook does um, have a recipe where you make your own fish fingers and I think your own custard as well. I'd like to try their version of that one day, but this on its own has been very interesting indeed. But yeah, it was quite nice. I really enjoyed it actually, so yeah. Definitely recommend it. There we have it, and that was me trying fish fingers and custard for the first time. Also, I forgot to mention in the video, obviously you might see I'm wearing a Dalek t-shirt which says exterminate. I do quite like this t-shirt actually, I think it's quite cool. So I thought I'd wear one of my favourite t-shirts for a video that I've been excited to do for a long, long time. And talking of the video, I would not have been able to make it at all without you guys. So thank you so much to every subscriber who made it possible. Thank you for all of the likes all of the comments, all of the views over the last six months, it has absolutely meant the world. Every time I see a new comment, a new like, a new subscribe, it honestly means so, so much to me. Literally, thank you so much. Honestly, all of the help, thank you so much. And the fact that I'm even getting subscribers after my 100, I just can't believe that, you know, it's just crazy. Like, like I said, I'm on 106 now. It's just absolutely crazy and I'm just so, so thankful. So literally, thank you everyone so much. It just honestly means the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, thank you for making the video possible. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've ever tried fish fingers and custard and what it was like for you and how many times you've had it. When did you first have it? When did you last have it? I'd love to know about it. So yeah, let me know what you thought of the video and thank you once again for all of your like, comments, subscribes. It honestly has meant the world. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you once again. And honestly, it's been so fun making this video. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed and see you in my next video soon. Thank you. Take care.